So, get me straight about sex and gender again. This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world Hey, welcome to the vlog. So, um, I'm sitting here having a little bit of tea. Me and Chris are both rushing to get out this morning. Today is the last run through of my show before we go into something called tech. We're also loading in the show, so Chris is gonna have to go and pick up a ton of things. And we had the uh, carpenters drop off the set, at, you know, basically the set was dropped off at the theater and a whole ton of things have to be done in the next two days leading up to when the lighting designer and the costume designer will show up with things and the show will actually start to look like the show will finally look like. Right now I'm sitting down, I'm having some puka. It's called Three Ginger Tea. What's interesting is this says the world's favorite spice ginger. It, know, uh, it uh, knows it knows important things. It knows that when inner fires fizzle and yawns roam free, rekindling starts with a feast of sweet, I guess it's Galagal, I don't know, is it and golden turmeric? I don't know, so it ends up being something with turmeric in it, and I had a tea with turmeric a couple of other days ago, but I didn't realize it had turmeric in it until I was reading the instructions anyway. So that's the Puka 3 ginger tea. It says a warming swirl of organic ginger, uh, Gallingal and golden turmeric. So, um, I'm not I'm not going to be able to um, chat very long. But I wanted to bring something up that came that uh, in response to uh, the video that I was that I made a few days ago, where I talked about um, I talked not so much about gender. I was really talking about you know the way we think about. Um, you know, biological sex, the way we think about bio biological sex. And it was, I was using it to make um, a point about what we understand about the world, what we understand about who we are as these animals. And um, people were, people, some people got offended and I understand that. And what I'm not sure, you know, I certainly did not intend to offend someone. And this is one of those weird things where I'm going to have an apology that's not an apology, and that is because it hasn't been made clear to me what um, what I did in that case that was wrong. And at this point, um, what it what seems to me um, that I did that was wrong was I talked about something that, that I didn't fully understand. Now, if I was ta if I were talking about something that I didn't understand as someone who understood it, then I could understand people getting very upset, but I was talking about something as an idea that we don't understand, <laughs> um, something that was very complicated, something that was far more complicated than people try to make it as a black and white issue. And I was really, a, and I, certainly I can understand how people can be very sensitive around certain issues and perhaps it was my lack of sensitivity and so if 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 it were if it was that um uh i was not um i did not show enough sensitivity in talking about that then i then i deeply apologize because i can only imagine what it's like to hear oneself or to hear one's condition or to hear anything about how one identifies discussed in a matter that maybe seems callous and insensitive. So for that, if, if for that I apologize. If, if, if my words were received in that way, I, 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 I really do apologize because I certainly uh, don't walk into this, this, these discussions intending for anyone to be offended. However, I do think on some level we have to be willing to talk about things that we don't fully understand to come to an understanding about them. And I'm alone here, so I can't have someone. You, you're not. No one can, can. No one can correct me right away. So it might be very frustrating for someone to hear me say something that's that's off kilter or that's that's just incredibly wrong, um, and have it uh, and not be able to just immediately, you know, stop me and to maybe feel. Um, 
powerless to make a difference. But you certainly can. You can leave a comment and then I'm going to come back. And here I am today um, picking up this conversation again because it's something that seemed very important to a few of you. Uh, in fact, a conver that conversation has continued in the, in the comment section in that video. And I'll include a link to that video so that you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, in that video, I, I talked specifically about biological sex and the fact that our very bodies um, can display very confusing things about what is considered biological sex and the, the idea of uh, being intersex was introduced. I did not use those words because it's not a concept that I understand at all. Um, and although I was aware of intersex, the word did not come to me, but again, I wasn't necessarily talking about being intersex. I was talking, or what is considered being intersex, I was talking about that the way that bodies are formed isn't one way or other. There are, for example, people who are identified as males who develop, you know, breast or who, um, and this is not necessarily about, you know, genitalia, but who have, uh, you know, higher levels of estrogen or people who are considered or identified as females who have, uh, you know, higher levels of, Oh my goodness, testosterone. So, you know, again, I'm not reading this out of books. This is just coming from my, my experience and my understanding of these things. And here's where a problem arises. And I think, I don't think that this is about the left or the right. This is where just a pro, where a problem arises in terms of people and their knowledge is that I don't assume that anyone has read a book on sex or gender or, or anything for that matter, or intersectionality, right? On any, or, or on any of these things. And so I, I bel I'm experiencing these things based on what I've been confronted with, <laughs> what's been put in front of me. And some of what has been put in front of me has been in the form of, you know, information on websites, information on television programs, information in movies, information in, you know, in, 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 uh, in books, you know, uh, things that people have told me face to face. And so, you know, what my experience is based on the, the, you know, all of those things brought together. And if they don't match yours, they're still my experience. And you coming into my life is just another source of information. You're not going to change me. Uh, and by you're not going to change me, it's like you're not going to make the person that I have lived to be up to that point a different being. You're just going to be one person making an input, right? You're going to be another person with an input and your input may be more valid. It may be more accurate than the, the information that someone else has, has, has given me, but I still need to process all of that, right? I still am going to have to process it and decide for myself whether or not it is true. And the problem is, we're animals. <laughs> We're animals. And as sophisticated as we think we are, as smart, as intelligent as we think we are, as civilized as we think we are, we're animals. And in my experience, most people are living their lives behaving based on their instincts in moments, decisions that are being made in the moment, regardless of what they know. And so, now I'm going to talk a little bit about sex and gender. I've had gender explained to me as something very different than sex by people who clearly have spent a lot of time learning about these things and thinking about these things. And I'm not clear why it is so important to insist that there's a difference or at least a distinction that can be made in this way that is black and white between biological sex 
and gender. As if the gender that is being experienced by individuals isn't happening on a biological level, or at least on a chemical level, if you understand what I mean. Our feelings, our thoughts, as magical as we think they are, boil down to our brains. And our brain is an organ. <laughs> it's biological. And it surprises me, especially from a community of vegans who, you know, especially a community of vegans who are, you know, who would kind of call out speciesism, that we somehow think that the way our brains are operating is completely separate from the way that our bodies are functioning. And that to me just doesn't make sense. Um, so if we talk about gender being separate from sex, um, and I don't want to come at this as like having all the answers and some people are going to, you know, feel like, oh, I'm, you know, apologizing for people who have, you know, attitudes about, you know, trans, tra trans people or tra people who are transgender. If there is not a cor correlation between biological sex and gender, um, why would it be important for someone who is transgender to transition surgically so that their biology is more aligned with how they feel or how they are experiencing themselves? Again, we're not going to get deep into this. I'm just starting a conversation and I hope that the comment section lights up with your thoughts and your answers on this matter. Um, this was probably the wrong day to pick this up and I intend to do a lot of reading and a lot of learning on these things, but I don't think that there's anything that I'm going to learn that is going to have me understand thoughts and feelings as not part of our biology, not being the the results of something that is happening in our brains. So with all of that in mind, what is to say that there's not a connection between something that's happening here and something that's happening two to three feet away down here? I hope that makes sense to you all. And Again, as I said, I'm certain that some people are going to be offended, but I really think that this is a conversation that needs to be had. And mostly because I don't understand it. Because I don't understand it. And as I said, I can certainly go and I can learn about it, but I don't think that anything that's going to be written in a book is going to reflect all of the experiences that real people in the real world are having about this. So with that, I'm going to drink my tea and get out of here and hope that you all have a wonderful time dragging me in the comment section. But that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I